Jedi fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8 Arid Start. So, last episode, I was going to take over the village. I decided not to because it was way too far south, and it didn't get any daylight. Um, so I kind of wanted to make my main base on the planet, like an ore bunker. I wanted to make out of a captured POI. I know I, I hardly ever do that sort of thing, but I, I'm doing it again. So I guess it's not hardly ever because I did that on Epsilon Row too, but, uh, whatever. <clears throat> um, and you can see it is way up north. And it's actually pretty close to my emergency generators that I got laid down over there, too. Uh, so the plan is, this will be my captured main base with all my stuff and all my good stuff. And then over here, because where, where's the drone base again? The drone base is, where did I find the drone base? The drone base is way over here. So I'm not sure... Even if it does come from this direction, I'm not in the path of the drone base. This is not in the direct path of the drone base of where my emergency generator is. So what I wanted to do here is make, is actually make a powered base with uh, turrets. <clears throat> and that's gonna be my um, basically my, my lure or my bait base. So all my good stuff is going to be here. I'm just going to have a little bit of stuff down here, but I want to get this set up first before I start getting drone attacks on purpose. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but yeah, I want to try and loot. These drones can actually drop power coils and stuff, right? So uh, that's kind of crazy. Anyway, you can see I took over the helix. The core was at the very top. I was able to e easily aim up with the HV and just pop the core out. You can see it from the ground and just popped it out. So, and then I put in my own core, took it over. I've, I've added... I've just added a bunch of concrete, a pad, and I'm just making like a bunker area for the ore. Um, eventually what I'm hoping for is to put on the other side of this a big huge uh, force field generated safe zone on the other side of that wall so I can like land a CV or come in with a really big miner or something. But in the meantime we're going to actually put our stuff in here because right now it's starting to get cold and I think I need to seal this up before I got to keep jumping in and out of the freaking HV although I bet you I could stand in the door if I stand in the door yeah I could stand in the door so we're cool I can stand in the door that's it yeah I forgot about that as long as yeah so the door heats me up <laughs> it's got a built-in heater uh yeah if you guys didn't know that if you're freezing and you and you can't get it quite sealed up, just stand, just pop a square out, put a regular sealed airtight door in, automatic door, and it will act as your heater cooler. Then you can just stand in the door, spawn your drone, and voila, you now have a environmentally protected environment because you're in a doorway. Okay, don't 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 judge it just go with it just go with it um i actually don't want that open though because critters you know <laughs> don't, don't need them saying hey hi there watch myself die in third person from my drone that's always fun oh and speaking of critters they're right out there so yeah i'm got the solar panels up the sun 
Um, we had like a full shot of sun straight overhead most of the day. We've got really good sun, so it comes up. It goes straight from over here, right in behind the tower there, and it comes straight overhead. And that, that's where we're at halfway through the day now. Uh, or what it says halfway through the daylight is. It started with like 12 hours, I think. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure now. So it says there's less than six hours to go before there's... I think it was more than that. I think it was a lot more than that. I think, uh, okay, well, we'll see, we'll see how long it takes once it goes down. Anyway, let's continue building this. Let's get this sealed in. So we're going to put more of the roof on now that we have a environmentally protected. Now, I, I don't have any O2 in here yet, but we can take care of that. Let's just keep building. Yes, it's a box. I know. I might actually spruce it up. So it'll be a fancy box. Maybe. Uh, let's take some of this crap out. Uh, hardened steel. Yeah, we'll take these. I'll be knocking this tower down, actually, because it's got really good stuff in it. So, all this hardened steel. It's like, yeah, I'm going to take all that. And then there's armored concrete. I'll take the ar armored concrete. Like, how cool is that? And then there's also uh, Xeno substrate in it somewhere. So, I'm not sure where all the alien, where the alien blocks are, but apparently there's alien blocks in this somewhere. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah. So, you know, steel. Okay. So, all the rest is hardened steel and or... Oh, wait, that's xeno steel. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, these runners. So these these tubes are xeno steel. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, so that's actually quite a bit. I can do something with that. Right? Make a little combat CV. I don't know. Just just thinking out loud. Anyway, I'll knock that down off, off camera. I'll, let's continue building this and getting this sealed up because that's so. You know what? For starters, let's get some. And it's too cold out. It's too cold. That's okay. Let's just oh, get my jetpack on. Jump up here really quick and we'll just take some air. Get into the devices here. Uh, here, let's fill that. We'll fill that. Go into here, we'll eat something. Get a couple of these. Okay. Okay. Let's get back over into the door. We'll just shut that again. We don't need that. Open. Okay, so let's continue on here. Um, so let's fill this in and there and there and we'll come across and down one more okay so that should be oh no let's do this and that and across one more okay Okay. <clears throat> okay, well, let's get the bottom dug out a little bit here. Figure out where the... Uh... 
floor level is. Get this dug out a bit anyway. I'll probably need to fence this in somehow. Eventually do like a wall or something. With the... Make some doors. Some hangar doors. Stuff like that. Because the... Uh, Because the force fields, all they protect you against is just the environment and your air. So it just basically pressurizes an environment. It doesn't stop critters or bullets, though. Come on. Let's get rid of, come on. Run that out as far as possible. Hit control and push. Come, is that all we can get? Come on. Okay, good enough. <clears throat> That's good. Fill that in where it didn't go. Okay, let's finish cleaning this up a bit here. Now the secret is, if you don't want critters getting to you and you don't have... Okay, so... Uh, let's continue building here. We need to seal this off. <coughs> hmm. How's the sun doing? What time is it, by the way? It is... Another 22 hours till... See, it's already coming up. It just barely... It just kind of went, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then it's coming up already. Is that awesome or what? <laughs> it's like day, all day long. Woo! So, yeah. Look at that. As we, as the, the little bit of building we did at night was enough that that dipped down, and it's already coming back up, and now it's going to be, in the sky all the way until it goes there it dips down and then it comes back so it's <clears throat> it's looking like this is going to be ideal for solar power so i'll probably have to once i tear this down and those are all small ones by the way i'll build bigger ones i'll just throw those in my factory into the uh when i plan on spawning in um yeah, I'm not going to go for the camo shack. I am going for a level 25. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not going to. I'm going to build a SV instead. So, let's get this built. Let's get the base built. At least get it up and functioning, right? This episode. Can we do that? Can we do that, Zelot? For once. Just do it. So I'm facing that way. <clears throat> I don't know why. I just want them facing that way. Uh, okay, so now that we have a constructor, we can start moving stuff over to it and build us a doorway. So let's do that. everything in the constructor. Here, let's just let's just dump that in there for now. Oh, where's the cobalt? Can get the cobalt going. Oh heck. Let's just get it all going. <laughs> I can carry I can carry a lot. Let's just do this. Get that. I want that, 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 the bits and pieces so get some power going. Can I, yeah, there it is. And then the ores. Okay, the bits and pieces. Get all the bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. Okay, so we'll get uh, some of the good ore here. 
Get this loaded up. So I like to do the iron that, that and then put we'll do the cobalt next. Neo Sath. We'll put some ore in here. Get the rest in here. <coughs> okay, so what we need is a Hanger door, hanger door, where are those? Right there. Hanger door. And then I can make the bits to upgrade this thing right away to an advanced constructor. I should have done that first, actually. This would have been faster because this is such a large thing to make. Okay, so while it's doing that. Let's get some O2, and we can sit in the cab for a bit. Come on. Because that'll take a second, and we can grab more stuff out of the constructor. So, let's grab all this stuff. Once I upgrade the constructor, it'll be super fast. Uh, we'll leave some of the stone. We'll leave that Prometheum in here. We'll leave that iron in. Take a stack. We'll leave those half chunks. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave we'll leave these in here. We'll leave these in here. That's fine. Okay, <clears throat> just in case I can make fuel then, and whatever I don't know, crushed stone I can turn into silicone. I can make stuff if I need to. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, let's see if this is done. I doubt it, because these things are. Oh, it's done. Okay, good. Okay, excellent. We should be able to... Whoops, I didn't want to... Let's do that again. I don't know why I jumped. <laughs> Six by three, there we go. We'll do it right to the... Is that... What can we do... Seven by five on the outside, maybe? Oh, God. My indecisionness. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess I'll need to put in. Well, that's weird that I built this thing too high. <laughs> Whatever, that's fine. It's four high. Why did I do that? I'm <clears throat> not sure why I did that. Uh, okay, well, that means let's build down to it then. I mean, yeah, I guess I think I thought I was going to do. I don't know what I thought. Whatever, we're going to we're going to share it up. You know what? We can just put the five by three in and put a wall in with a door. Or even the, even the six by, we'll do the six. Yeah, we'll do the six. Let's do that. Okay. Spawn our drone. Do the six by three. We'll do it right to the end there. Right there. Come on. There. Okay, and then we'll just get these blocks in. Come on. 
Okay, now that should seal up the area. And it did! Yay! Okay. So now we can we can just wander around here. We can just draw oxygen from here if we need it. But I think what we'll do is we'll get a ventilator built here and an O2. So let's do, I don't think I looted O2, did I? Did I loot any O2? Much, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Okay, no, doesn't look like it. Okay, <clears throat> so we'll make it. So this is the only sealed area then right now. We don't need much. Okay. Uh, so let's get this stuff in here. Actually, I should make a furnace and then put it all into the... That's okay. That's okay. Let's just get the O2 going first. So... We've got a couple of large O2 tanks for this one area. That'll, that'll last a long time. And then what we're going to need, we're going to need some lights. Let's make some lights. We don't need many. We need a ventilator. We'll put that above the door, actually. And that reminds me, we'll make another door. Okay. Uh, we should probably put some cargo down. Oh, how many I'm going to need? I'll have a whole bunch against the side wall, basically, is where... I'll put down, I don't know, 20? Let's make 20. Oops, 20. <clears throat> Okay. We also want to put extra fuel, and we also want to make. Um, actually, let's scrub. Let's scrap these. Let's scrap that and that. What we want to do right now is make some extra fuel tanks. We can make some T2. What do they cost? Cobalt. I've got a lot of cobalt. I'm going to go up to the moon and try and get more. 162 plus 186 ore, which turns into 390. So 390, 495, 50. I have 550 cobalt? Are you kidding me? That's it? I thought I had more than that. Okay. Well, I, I looted most of that. Okay, so, I mean, I guess I did really good, because that's just from gathering surface rocks, really. So, surface rocks and looted, because that's all, you know, I, I guess I did awesome, really. <laughs> Why am I disappointed in myself? Wow. Okay, um, blueprints, let's see. Maybe we should just make something that can warp. Hmm. Um. <clears throat> Not quite. So that's really expensive. That's another thing too. I gotta look at rebuilding a warp capable <clears throat> SV. So I think what we're going to do is we're, we're going to actually build one in here. We're going to use this, this, um, this hangar bay 
we're going to get this all ventilated and um yeah let's do that here let's do that put the other generator in the other fuel tanks then i can move the other once i get once i destroy that tower i'll take the generator out of there and the fuel tank out of there too <clears throat> Okay, and then, you know what? We should actually build another one of these. Get that in there. So this is stuff that's going to go above the furnace. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's put this in. No, we'll uh, uh, get rid of the lights here. We'll put that in later. Let's go put this stuff in. Okay, so let's flip this on its side. Uh, do we want it face? Yeah, we want it facing that way. Let's have it up there. <clears throat> now, I don't think it's absorbed enough to really. Uh, so it can put out 2.5 megawatts now with that other capacitor. And. Oh, that's coming back up. So that's good. 53 kilowatts. So the advanced constructor is now consuming a bunch, but it still it didn't drain the battery throughout the night, the short night that it was. It actually, and now it's actually generating more than what it's consuming again. Right, if I'm reading this right. Yeah. <clears throat> now remember, I just put in another capacitor, so that would have dropped that number probably in half, right? Didn't it? I didn't check first. I should have checked that. Okay. Well, anyway, let's put the other generator in. This is more backup, I guess, in case somebody really drains the somebody, meaning me, really drains the... No, you know what? I want that facing this way. Why did I spin that to the back? There. I want it like that. Okay. And then... We want these fuel tanks in. Okay, and now I want to put well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's all going to be just up in the ceiling really at this point. So let's just put those up there. Um, I'm going to knock this out right here. And put the ventilator in. I don't know why I didn't grab the door just then. Okay, so there's no O2 in the tanks. Let's see if I can do something about that. Turn that on. And yay, we have oxygen. Okay, I can or don't have to seal this at this point. <clears throat> it's not really um it's not really something I have to do. 
but what here let's oops yeah I can't do that let's spawn this now that I'm not gonna suffocate I can stand here and just sit at 58 in my uh, suit uh, okay well I've got as you can see I've got ton here let's just for 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 those of you seeing the red numbers and the yellow numbers stressing you out I'll just there you go it's gonna be all right it's okay Okay, so let's, we didn't build one yet, so we haven't built the furnace. Now we want to put another capacitor in, but that's going to be the capacitor from outside. I wonder if I can go gather that. Let's, let's go try. Any critters? Any critters going to rush in here? So because... I made this little moat area. I think we're going to be okay. What I, I should probably put some sentry guns in, though, just on the insides. Just on the inside, so that when the doors open, and if there's critters coming in, they'll shoot. Um, other than that, they won't ever shoot because the doors won't be closed. Yeah, I think I'll do that pretty quick here. Not sure if I need to put a gun on it. A real gun? We'll see. I don't think I need to. I didn't get any warning saying that there's drone attacks imminent. And this thing's been powered up for a while now. So I don't think I'm ever going to get drone base attacks at this base because it's technically a POI. Uh, let's take this thing because the other one has 14%. That'll pop it down to 7 I think think or 28 we either we either lose half <clears throat> or we gain double what do you think what do you think what's it at what's it at so it's at it's at 16 percent okay so if we technically if if this capacitor is half charged and we remove it from the equation we should lose half of our fuel right right it's not like the fuel tank thing where now let's see if we actually retain if we go into the the informative statistics page and take a look we currently have um, 257 battery points out of 1600 each each of the capacitors has 800 so let's see if I remove one if we lose it all or does it stay based on this right here how this is configured it's like a fuel thing I'm thinking if I remove one this is the only number that's going to drop down not this number so let's see the core and oh I lost half okay so it's not like the fuel each individual capacitor holds a charge that does not transfer over to the other capacitors but but they evenly lose their charge and gain their charge at the same time if they are in uh, parallel with each other. So good to know. Uh, that's exactly what a parallel situation would would dictate: is you lose the charge that's built in that battery. It can't just instantly give it to its buddy. Boom, right? Okay. So that is. That is normal behavior, which you would expect from that sort of thing. Um, now, it is a game, so, you know, nothing's <laughs> normal. Could this ever be reality? Sure. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's just not in my lifetime. 
<clears throat> okay, so let's get this in. Face it down that way, or do we want to spin it? And have that facing that way again. And then, yeah, let's do that. Butt that up against there. Okay, so now they'll both start charging. Um, realistically, I should probably put a couple more capacitors in, but they're at such low charge right now. Uh, I just nuked it down to 9%, right? So... The great thing is, since I put the, the capacitor in and the, the uh, solar panels, the, the fuel hasn't gone down at all. It's just been sitting at this number. So there's a little backup reserve of fuel, which I'll probably fill up those tanks now, right? Fill up those tanks. And that generator will be the backup fuel source or the backup generator source if there's a, I don't know, a catastrophic <clears throat> solar power. Maybe some, a drone comes and destroys all the panels. I don't know, right? Before I can, I don't know. Maybe that could happen, right? Yep. Um. Well, look at all the critters. Critters. There's critters. Well, cool. We did it. We are oxygenated. We have a large constructor going and uh, a sealed little generator room. I'm going to put a furnace in this spot right here. And I pr I'll probably just put a retaining wall. You know what I'm saying? Like one of these. I can do that right now, actually. That's uh, one two, three, so it's going to be this block here. Uh, we're going to have a half wall, a half wall right here. And we're going to spin that to the front. Like that. So you can't go into that block. So we'll just we'll just block that off. Reserve that for the furnace. That way we can still access the furnace uh, because that's only a half block high. We should be able to easily target the furnace from here. I've done it before, so I, I know it works. <laughs> well, guys, uh, we're going to leave it here. So there we go. We have a base up and running with a, uh, a large constructor powered up. So we actually have a powered base now. I know it took me a long time to get to this point. I, I hummed and hawed about doing it. Uh, but realistically, this will be a good uh, furnace point with the uh, POI and all the the daylight that is just constant, as you can see here, we better arm ourselves just in case, just in case there could be critters out here. It's funny, it's uh, it's on a desert planet, but we're so close to the pole that it's always freezing here. But I'm okay with that. It's actually easier to deal with the cold in the game. If you got an EVA boost, you just throw that on and boop. You're golden. <laughs> so I think I think it's gonna work really good here. And I'll I can take this thing out mining, dump it into the furnace, convert it all to ingots. We'll get um, we'll get an SV, all the SV parts going. I'll finish this off. I'll I'll build a furnace. I'll, I'll upgrade that to an advanced constructor. Uh, I'll probably put in. I'll flesh this out a bit to make it a little bit more convenient and habitable, like uh, some uh, emergency medical equipment, uh, maybe a, um, a food processor. 
um, you know, just your basics, an armor locker, a repair station, that sort of stuff. And then, yeah, the, the rest is, I'm not going to build a garden here. This is just, just an ore bunker with a little bit of crafting available, you know, to do repairs and stuff. So, uh, but for now, it'll be a good little ba a starter base for us. And that's what it is. Till next episode, guys. You have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.